Hello, I'm Glenn Darling from the IBM Edge Application Manager team, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our product, IEAM. It's our single pane of glass for containerized application management at extreme scale on both Kubernetes clusters and standalone Linux computers that just have Docker. So let's unpack that a little bit. Uh, what do I mean by extreme scale? I mean tens of thousands of clusters or tens of thousands of Linux computers or combinations thereof, and um, a single pane of glass to manage either the containers that you run on the clusters or the containers that you run on those standalone computers. And uh, containerized applications, those are uh, Docker containers or Linux containers, and they really revolutionized cloud uh, software in the early part of the last decade. And that really accelerated with the, the uh, creation of Docker about 2013. So we're bringing that revolution down to the edge. And IEAM is just IBM's commercial distribution of the Linux Foundation's edge project called Open Horizon. You can Google for that. And it's really edge native. We created it for edge in 2015 when nobody else was using the term edge. Um, and it's quite unlike the other edge solutions out there. Um, a lot of the IoT providers repurposed their IoT solutions and started branding them as edge solutions. And the same thing happened with the cloud providers that they took their cloud solutions like the Kubernetes space solutions and uh, started labeling them as edge solutions. But we designed from the beginning for the edge environment, which is quite different from either cloud or IoT. So our system is decentralized. So we have a very minimal central management hub and it's robust under attack, uh, partly because it's very minimal. And then we have fully autonomous agents that run on each individual node and a node can either be a Kubernetes cluster or it could be a standalone Linux computer with Docker. And those agents independently decide on the right course of action for their node. And we also have a feature for zero touch using um, the secure device onboarding or uh, FIDO device onboarding, um, which enables you to have a technician take the device to the field, power it up, connect it to the network, and just walk away and that's it. it the installation of our ibm edge application manager software and the device specific configuration that points it to our management hub and that configures it with the appropriate policy that you have for governing the behavior of the agent all of that is fully automated really disconnected our fully autonomous agents can continue to monitor and manage your applications when disconnected from their management hub. And that's uh, different from the more centralized IoT solutions and the more centralized cloud-based solutions that are rebranding themselves as Edge. Our fully autonomous agents and agbots take your stated intent and they make it real across your whole fleet of device and clusters. And uh, we use a mechanism called policy that consists of properties and constraints, and uh, you apply this policy to govern the behavior of the agents. So you basically say, this is what I want. And then the whole fleet of agents out there, each of them independently says, no problem, we got this. And they, they will either run the software or not run the software based upon the policy that you've specified ahead of time. We also allow independent life cycles for your containerized code and your large data files, um, which for example, could be neural network model files. And that's the most common application we see. And so the model that you use is going to change more frequently than the code that runs the model. Uh, certainly we see that in every application today. You, you need to retrain your model as you get uh, failures in the field. You keep adding new test cases and you uh, retrain your model. And you can, with our system, update the neural network model completely independently of the code. That means no downtime for your service when updating the models. You can also uh, secure your secrets. 
So we are integrated with HashiCorp's vault. So you can securely manage the secrets of your container. So if you have credentials that the container needs to speak to some kind of a cloud service or uh, to decrypt a local hard drive or something like that, those secrets can be managed using vault. And I mentioned before, we support clusters or singles, um, and uh, the singles just need to have Docker. And we support x86-64, ARM-64, ARM-32 devices even, the very small ARM-32 devices, and uh, power architecture, the IBM hardware, and more. There's a community project that has supported the RISC-V architecture on Open Horizon. And uh, we even support very tiny single core devices and our agent only uses about 30 megabytes of RAM. So uh, you can get away with a very small piece of hardware to run our agent. And we provide a single view for all of that. So um, you're, we can manage containers across your fleet of uh, Kubernetes or individual standalone machines. And uh, IBM Edge Application Manager adds a web browser UI on top of the CLI commands and REST APIs that are provided by the Open Horizon infrastructure. The, the web browser UI is not available in the open source uh, version. So uh, it is open source. It's all based on the LF Edge project called Open Horizon. So no vendor lock-in, there's open governance, there's a large community. You know, come on and join us in the open source community. So let's review the key points of this introduction. So first of all, uh, the Edge Application Manager is there to manage containerized applications across your entire fleet. It's Edge native, designed from the beginning for Edge. Security first, it's decentralized, and all of the components are given very small scopes of authority. So if any one of the components gets compromised, it's not really possible to uh, turn the whole system into a botnet or somehow get control of the other components in the system. And we have this truly zero touch installation in the field. So you can wire it and leave, which means lower cost for installation of devices. And we have fully autonomous agents that are driven by the policies you set. Also, the devices can be completely firewalled and that's no problem because our agents always pull. There's the agents initiate contact with the management hub. The management hub never attempts to contact the agents. Uh, in fact, the agents don't listen on any external ports on the devices where they run. So it's not even possible to connect to the agent to try to hack into the agent from a remote source. Also, we support disconnected operation. The agent will continue to work when it's offline. Of course, if it needs access to new software, it has to be able to connect and pull that new software. But if you have a problem, like you release some buggy software and then your network goes down, that's no problem because the agent can read your fallback policies and see that you've said, if this uh, version two crashes three times in 12 minutes, then that's a catastrophic failure and you want to roll back to version 1.7. And so uh, the agent can handle that while the network's offline or perhaps your software release caused the network to go offline and this would, uh, our agent would be able to remediate that problem. Um, we also support independent life cycles for code and data files, which uh, eliminate service interruptions as you go to new versions of your neural network model. And we have secret management securely through HashiCorp Vault integration. We support extreme scale, tens of thousands of nodes per management hub. And of course you can have many management hubs as well. And we manage both clusters and standalone Linux devices. Uh, our competitors, some of them manage clusters and some of them manage Linux uh, standalone devices, but I don't think any of them manage both with a single pane of glass. And that's what we have, a single management console for all. It's easy to use as role-based interfaces. And it's all based on the Linux Foundation Edge project, Open Horizon, which is open source and has open governance. So if you're ready to learn some more, I'd encourage you to go to the Linux Foundation's YouTube channel. Uh, there's an Open Horizon playlist there. And um, 
I think I've made most, or if not all of the videos on that playlist. There's about a dozen of them there, and they range from very simple introductions to Open Horizon to uh, deep technical dives on various topics and some hands-on demos of how to do various things with Open Horizon. The QR code will take you there too. If you want to take a look at the IBM Edge Application Manager's official documentation pages, this QR code will take you there, that URL. And if you want to see our official product page uh, to get some information about the product itself, there's another QR code for you there. Well, thank you very much for listening to this introduction. You can reach out to me for more information as well if you're interested. In